Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in SketchUp 2021 for beginners. I am architect from Glide Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you about measure tool and dimension tool in SketchUp. So uh, if you want to measure the distance between the two points of this rectangle or any 3D surfaces here, you can do with the help of dimension tool. So first I am going to dimension tool which is available in your toolbar sets here and I am going to select this dimension tool and now I am going to select this end point to this end point and I will drag outwards so you can see this is the length of this rectangle and I am going to select this end point to this end point and we can take the dimension easily. So if I want to take the diagonal dimension, I will click on this point and then I will click on this end point and now we can drag this towards angular dimension. You can see if I am moving my mouse towards this red line, I can take the, this width dimension. If I am moving towards this green line, I can take the length lengthwise dimension but if you move angular this red line you can see it is giving us a diagonal dimension so we can take the dimension of this and you can move this as per your choice so likewise you can take the dimension and if you want to take the dimension of this 3d surface or any furniture or any project so you can do it with the help of dimension tool so i am going to select this dimension tool again and i'm going to select this end point and i will go to this height and you can take the height dimension in the z direction and you can take the dimension of any 3d surface in a sketchup easily and i like the sketchup tool dimension tool very much because of this uh, efficient dimensioning method and you can take dimension easily so you can take the detailed dimension so if you want to take the dimension of any circular surface or cylindrical surface so i am going to select this dimension here and i will select this circle here and you can see this gives us diameter dimension here 8 feet 6 inches diameter you click outside and you can also give identity entity info you can also get entity info here like radius and diameter and if you are coming back to here you can see the, these all are symmetrical surface here this surface is symmetrical so uh, if I am trying to take the dimension of this I am not able to take the dimension of this uh, cylindrical surface so why it is happening because it is in, um, in a group so if I am going to select this object you can see this is in the group so I will right click on this and explode and then I will go to dimension tool here and you can take the dimension of this and also uh, change the dimensions style so I am going to uh, window and I will go to model info and I will select this one dimensions and in the text you can change the font font style here and I am going to select Times New Roman bold and you can also change the point here 12 so I am making it slightly bigger ok and I am going to change the color also to make you understand ok and if you come below here you can see select all dimension update selected dimension so i'm going to select all dimension and i'm going to select this update selected dimension and you can see 
and likewise you can change the text here select all dimension and update all dimension so likewise we can change the text style and dimension here so uh, I'm going to quit this and you can see the all dimensions are updated and you can use in your project here so it is very easy so next is I am going to discuss about this tool measure tool and measure tool is measure distance create guidelines so it will give distance between two surfaces suppose I want to take the distance of this if I am bringing to this end point you can see it is 8 feet 11 which exactly matches our width so likewise you can take a measurement of any surface and you can see 7 and 7 feet and half inches so likewise you can use this measure tool to measure any surface suppose I want to measure this to this object wall here you can see this is 16 feet 6 inches so likewise it is useful tool measure tool so this was the tutorial for today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in sketchup so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel thanks